So what's going on is right now, if you have any RC20 token in your, in your MetaMask, you are going to get a copy of it when the snapshot happens. There's going to be a giant snapshot and every RC20 token, NFT, and I think most liquidity tokens are going to be copied over. And when you log into your MetaMask and get the new and get the, and go onto the, um, the, uh, the pulse chain ecosystem, like, drop down menu you're going to have all your tokens on your metamask and you'll be like whoa look at all these you have all these tokens and you're going to be able to yield farm which is really cool some tokens we're not going to have much value some are going to have a lot of value but that's kind of the gamble but in terms of like what are the tokens are going to have a lot of value so first you have p hex which is going to be a pulse version of hex so any any hex stakes you have or hex liquid hex tokens are all going to be copied over so basically we're getting two times the coins and the reason that this is so special is because when Pulse Chain launches, the gas fees are going to be nothing at all. Are going to be nothing at all. So it so it's it's just sort of it's a it's a sort of thing where um, a lot of people who can't afford because on Ethereum to unstake their stakes or can't afford un, or can't afford to like buy a lot well, of this will fix. Will this fix the unstaking problem with uh, with Hex? Yes, okay. it will. It will on on, on the P Hex side. So you're going to have sort of a thing with. Uh, you're gonna have a sort of thing right i think over the medium term you're gonna have hex become more of a whale chain in a way and then you're gonna have a p hex become more of the people's token over the medium long term until then and then eventually i think once ethereum fixes its gas fee problems then we'll have sort of a 50 50 split and yes your luvium will be copied all rc20 tokens will be copied and and nfts now pulse chain is our basically we're it's our we're forking ethereum so pulse chains are ethereum basically that's what it is PulseX is basically our, it's kind of our Uniswap, spooky swap fusion token. So basically this token allows us to yield farm and it creates this whole thing where you're able to provide liquidity for these tokens and you get a yield farm opportunities. So you're able to, you know, earn 40, 50, maybe even a thousand percent APR, APY yield farming on your money. And what's so cool about this whole system is that because you're getting the air, you're getting copied, right? You're, you're getting half of the liquidity pair for free from the beginning because you, you've got an airdrop too. So then you just provide the other side of the liquidity and now you're yield farming for almost 50% off. And then you're just earning, you're just earning a bunch of free coins. So it's a big money making opportunity in terms of uh, in terms of yield farming and stuff. That's why I've been really preaching and teaching people the, the phantom ecosystem because um, I want people to kind of learn how to do that to get a step above competition when it launches. Then we have the incentive token, which is basically just a token that admi that gets admitted, and then you you're earning on it and stuff. And then it has all these like other features and stuff, which are to be announced. And so those are kind of like the first five tokens. These five tokens, which are like almost the Thanos glove, the you know like the the Infinity Stones. These are like the first five Richard Hart projects that are like richer the Richard Hart you know cinematic universe. Now you have like the the other the shitcoin gauntlet over here, right? You have the first one. You have um, you have liquid loans, which basically, wait, whoa. oh, there we go. Sorry, sorry. You have liquid, you have liquid loans, Hedron, and you have, um, oh, I forgot, Mintra, right? So I guess let's start off with Mintra first. So Mintra is this project that basically is, they're, they're a copy of look the looks token, which is that big NFT protocol that launched recently that gave a bunch of tokens to people um, that had any NFTs and stuff. You, because all the NFTs on Ethereum are going to be copied over, you need a place to to, to do transact, like to see them. So you need an open sea. So this is like a hex owned, a hex a hexagon owned protocol where you're able to trade your NFTs for the guys who want to trade NFTs. So you need that, right? So it's a sort of thing like everything that the the, the ecosystems need are being created. Then you have a hedron, the hedron thing, which is really cool. So they just did a big airdrop. So anyone who's a hex staker is able to claim all their hex, all, all their uh, hedron equal to their the amount of like stakes that they have and right now there's like a 9x bonus that if you just it's safe to claim the oa the oa claimed which is means like that's pretty that's a pretty good deal and um what, what the main function of that thing is is basically you're able to take your 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 you're able to take your hex make a stake on it and then you you can take sort of a loan on it in hedron token so you're able to do five five fives or a ten or a one year stake, and then get a certain amount of hedron, and then get instant liquidity on your on your hex stake, and then all you do is pay back the loan. Where where liquid where where a liquid loans right is the the next token right the next the, you, the, with the liquid loans token you're able to take your pulse chain token and take a loan on it like Aave. And that's what it is basically it's leverage in a way. So so we're now getting introduced a NFT protocol. A way to take profits on hex stakes earlier 
and a NFT and, a, and basically leverage NFT protocol and um, basically getting uh, liquidity on on hex stakes basically. So these are these are three products that are pretty much need, really needed and stuff. So this is why like they're they're become the three most coveted projects in terms of the outside of the uh, Richard Hart uh, main tokens and stuff. So you now you know Sorry. we have eight tokens now. Are those being started by the community then? The community? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mo yeah. Uh, um, those projects were all started by community members. So this is why I like it so much. Is like this so, ecosystem. So Richard, sorry, Richard is creating the five main ones. So that's through his, like through his own resources and like whatever he's got developers. Like he's focused on creating those those uh, those specific projects. And then there's the other ones that are more community uh, started. Is that kind of how you're? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, so it's, five that it's more of a centralized from him, which is yeah. fine because you're going to probably get it launched earlier. It'll be more organized, and then you have kind of like the decentralized, like community run stuff. So it's good you're getting. You know, you want both, but um, is is Hex? Uh, are, do they work with any other ecosystems like in a like a strong like a meaningful way or like besides no. just? They're